Welcome everybody to a special release episode. I just released 3.0 of the MCG Mindstar plugin and web end. What's changed? Well, pretty big thing. It's completely recoded its installer. So basically, whatever you want to do, you now have to just use one panel to install both panels instead of both panels for both panels. So to be short, it can be complicated before this update and now it's fixed. No more complications, no more complicated things. So first off, I have started by downloading this link over here. Currently it's it's here, it's also on my website. It's basically a file that showcases the major plugins requires. So you get this one, it's called requirecheck.php and you can go to it. I'm using this uh, this web page to test my scripts in this case um, and I'm going to the require check page as you can see here it runs the checks to see if I'm ready for my star v3 uh, as you can see it checks the root folder if it's writable uh, the curl check if you have curl installed PHP version correctly SQLite open SSL um, and if it can write subfolders and such so basically it checks everything um, needed and this file gets updated once in a while when there are more requirements or I can uh, make the acquire check bigger and better so we can sure that you can run it but this covers most of it so most of the time people get stuck on uh, the curl or the SQLite well I can tell you one thing SQLite is included with every version from 5.2 and up um, Sometimes when it's not available at this moment at the right way, you can enable it in the php.ini uh, file with every web server you host. If it's not enabled, you can always ask your host to help you if you do not know how. Um, there are plenty of tutorials on the internet and if something fails in any one of these steps, um, it will provide a solution for you. For example, if PHP is too low, <coughs> it links you to the information page on how to update. Same for curl and the other things. So yeah, once you've done this and you're sure that you get this line in your screen that you're ready for one for V3, the only thing you have to do is go to this page, my Spigot page, where you have purchased the plugin, click the download button and download it to your server folder and put it into the plugin folder. Well, this case I've already uploaded uh, to this folder. So, um, as you can see, I have no folder of the mine store, so I'm installing it freshly. If you have a uh, instance already running of the MCV mine store pre v3, then please edit the configuration file and clear the API key and URL field um, to make sure that it will reinstall correctly. Uh, all your products and categories will be saved, though, they will not be removed at all. Keep that in mind that you will not lose anything with it. The only thing that I want to warn you guys about, if you have already a server running and somebody purchased something, wait until they got it before ruining this whole thing. <laughs> if you update in the middle of somebody getting things, they will not get it anymore because we are changing database storage. So basically, we used to use MySQL. We are going to use SQLite as database thing. Um, so let's go into the game. So this is the game and this is my server manager and I'm clicking start here. Um, I'm gonna click start here. Just uh, loading it up. Blah, 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 blah. Gonna take some time. Um, this is by the way, my test application. I really like using this software. So the maker of this, the developer, great work making this one. Um, the error above, you can ignore that CMI, the old version. I did not install the new one yet. Anyways, it first checks your credentials and such. Um, and then it will say that's protected, loading everything. But some, something might be noticed by other people. 
And that's that there is no, well, basically no link to a web file. Uh, that's true. I can answer that one. If you go to the plugins folder, it created a folder now. And if you open that one and it checks to see that and you have a license, basically it's automatically injected in your plugin. And once you download it, it generates this file, the msgsetup.php. The only thing you have to do is drag it to your server. That's it. Now go down and go in game. There we go. I'm here. <laughs> My testing world. Uh, minus the plugin that broke on uh, 1.14, but my plugin is compatible. Yay! This is 1.14. Yay! Uh, okay, N enough chit chat. Let's get going. Do simply just do donate admin install. You will be prompted with this new keyboard GUI that I built into the last version 2.6, if I believe. Um, where you can type in the question is the web part URL basically decide where you installed the web script that we just uploaded. In this case, it's beta, see, beta dot mcg soft dot e u. Nice thing about the screen is when you made a mistake, you can use the backspace or clear the whole input at all together. So when I click save and continue, you will see that it lags a little bit. That's because it installs the web panel at this moment. And as you can see here, we only need to enter the currency tag, which is in my case Euro. So E U R is my tag for Euro. You can also use USD for US dollars. Um, C H uh, C A N for Canadian thingy things. Anyways, uh, British pounds, everything you can be supportive. Just search for the money tax, for, um, currency tax on the internet and you will get a whole list of tags that you can use. They're always three characters long. If there's anyone that finds a currency that uses more than three characters, Please let me know, I can uh, up the limits, because currently it removes your keyboard if you enter three digits, in this case, G-E-U-R. When I click save and continue, I can see that I have not updated my language file yet at my system. It is released with the new version in it. Keep that in mind, people. Um, it's included. Basically, if a language is missing, ignore this one. This is my test build. I released the full version already. Um, we are already done. Yes. We are done and everything works the same like the old one. The only thing we do want to have is that we have the files. So this is the web address now. And if I refresh, you can see, hey, that looks familiar. Yes, it looks familiar. The only thing is done. We are going to remove the installation file. Now we go into the core folder and you can see that everything generated, even the key has been generated. This is a test key, by the way. Um, so it will not work for you guys. Sorry. Um, then we have the config PHP, the data file, where all the data is put in now instead of the MySQL database. Um, so let's make a temporary folder here and download the config.php to that folder. So uh, let me open it like so. And as you can see here, there are a lot of things in here that you can think, what in the world am I doing with it? Anyways, basically what it does is you have these gateways, in this case, the URL where the web page is installed. In this case, it's this, uh, the gateways that are enabled is one the gateways that are disabled is zero. I left those empty by the way, on purpose. If you do not want to use them, enter a zero. The free gateway for if your amount is zero that you can check out, can be disabled by changing it to a zero and otherwise turn it to one. PayPal and free is always defaultly active. So keep that in mind. Secondly, the currency is already entered for you from the game out. So you can use this link here. If you open that link to see all the currency codes with all the uh, money values. And as you can see, as I noticed, there are all three letters long. That's why I said, if I make a mistake, just let me know. Um, okay. 
uh, if you have PayPal enabled, like here, it's one. You need to pay, it, uh, pay attention to enter your PayPal email, otherwise it will end up nowhere. If somebody pays you, if you use PayGoal and have it enabled, you need the PayGoal ID, otherwise leave it like this. Uh, payment wall works the same with your key and secrets, keep that in mind. And now the styling of the web page. Um, basically the name, your community name, the address of the donation store um, page is already entered. You can alter this as you wish, uh, of course. And I added some examples on how it works. You can change these links to totally different, for example, google.com if you want to. Um, and this is the name of the button on the page itself. So basically everything is the same, but a little bit way truncated to make it more easy to understand. Before, uh, Payment Wall got like loads of different uh, options and settings. But since Payment Wall now enables you to turn them off on your panel on the other side, your widget panel from uh, Payment Wall itself, it's no need to have it inside this file. Once you have done and configured everything, just click save and you're basically completely done. Keep in mind, if you want to change any of the gateways to on or off, don't forget to also edit your config file inside the Mindstore folder and changing one of these gateways to true if you want to use this. In this case, I have three to false to make sure it's not usable anymore on that way. The API is automatically filled with the correct key to be bound to the web installation. So you do not longer need to enter anything like that. And you can also alter these settings. This is an old setting, by the way. It keeps getting back. <laughs> I removed it like 12 times now. Anyways, you can ignore that one. Uh, the product icon defaults and the rest all is like the old days. The same, the only thing that is now in use is the protocol tag i announced it earlier basically the panel the plugin itself tries to connect to https by default if you have problems or not having a certificate or anything that prevents you from using a secure connection even if i recommend just using it um, you can also remove the s here and then it will be a normal connection although i'm not responsible for any leakage problems and such occurring from this change so basically that's the quick installation part. Um, it's now all completely working and in working order and the rest works as it used to be. Um, so if you liked this update, please be sure to review my plugin. If you have tried it out and you think it's useful, give me a rating that you appreciate it um, and a rate fairly, of course. So uh, thank you all for watching. See you all in the next one. Good luck.